Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is my video tip of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to extract royalty-free audio from a CD. I'll show you what I mean. On this video here, I have added a lot of effects, and I've created a sports intro video. I'll play it and let you see what it looks like. You can see there's flying boxes, and there's lots of things going on. But what you don't hear is the background audio. That's because I haven't chosen one yet. We're going to do that now. What I have is I have a library called Backtracks from Digital Juice, and it's a collection of royalty-free audio. And I put one of the CDs from the Backtracks collection into my CD drive, and I want to extract one of the audio tracks. And the way that I do that is I go up to Project and come down to Extract Audio from CD, and Windows reads the CD and shows me all the clips that are on the audio CD, and I can go through, and I can play them if I want to play them. I just, I just click on the track title and click Play, And I can play them until I find the one I want. The one I want right here is number 23. And on Digital Juice, that number after it tells me how long it is. So this is a 30 second track. And we'll play it to make sure it's the one I want. Yep, that's the one I want. Now that I've done that, all I have to do is click OK. And it's going to bring a Save As window. It's going to give me a suggested file name. And I can click Save to rip this from the CD. We'll do that now. And as soon as it's completed, you notice it's down here in your media pool. What it's done is it's extracted that audio file from the CD, put it in your project media pool. Now to put that on my timeline, I move down to I find an empty audio track, which is right here, and drag that music up onto my audio track, and I can adjust the volume if I want. But we'll play it now. You can hear what it sounds like. So you can see it looks pretty good. Once I do have it on my audio track, I can go in and edit it and shorten the length. For example, if I decide I want it to be a lot shorter, I can go over here to the right-hand side and grab that click and just resize it to the length that I want and make it fit, or I can change the speed of it. But the point is, it's real easy to extract audio from your CDs. All you have to do is click Project and select Extract Audio from CD. And then when the CD drive window shows up, go through and play the different ones you want. And you can extract as many as you want. You can extract several if you wanted to and then click OK to extract those and then click Save. The extraction process is relatively quick, only takes a few seconds. And right there we've extracted three really quick. These again instantly show up in your media pool for your project. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. Find more like this at www.bmyers.com or find them in our, in our DVD 101 Tricks and Tips for Sony Movie Studio. You can find that at Amazon or at my website.